Minister, I am asking you to review the schools that now need a teacher appointed for September 2021. The COVID pandemic has caused the figures of the children booked in for next September to be skewed. There are children that were booked into schools and did not materialise as example coming from other counties or coming home from abroad, yet other children that were not booked in for September are now coming to the classroom. Can a review be done under these unusual circumstances? Thank you, Deputy Min Min Minister. Uh, thank you, Cahir Luck, and, and thank you, uh, Deputy, for, for raising this question. Um, primary schools are currently provided with class teachers on the basis of one teacher for every 26 pupils, which is at its historically lowest level in this country. Under the programme for government, there is a commitment to make further progress uh, in reducing the pupil-teacher ratios in primary schools and to support small schools. As part of the Budget 2021 measures, I was pleased um, that Government sought to deliver on this commitment by the announcement of a one-point change to the primary staffing schedule and the introduction of a three-point reduction in the number of pupils required to retain a teacher. And that has been of enormous benefit uh, to schools the length and breadth of the country, that we have successfully uh, reduced the pupil-teacher ratio but that we have also included a three-point reduction uh, in relation to the number of pupils required to retain a teacher who is currently in a school. The staffing schedule for 2021-22 school year was published last month, and all, schools are now and all schools can now establish their staffing for the coming school year on the basis of the enrolments in September 2020. The Department has published guidance for schools and that takes account of the exceptional circumstances that have arisen for those pupils who are enrolled in a school but have not returned to a school during the 2020-21 school year, but that it is their intention to do so. It is important that schools return valid enrolments to the Department to ensure an equitable allocation of resources. The staffing arrangements also include a staffing appeal mechanism and a developing post application process which allows for schools to be allocated posts on the basis of projected enrolments. The appeal process also contains a number of other criteria that may be applicable to some schools where their enrolments have changed. This year, the Department and the Primary Staffing Appeals Board are very cognizant of the impact of COVID-19 on schools, and in that context, as you have outlined, will look carefully at all decisions on the allocation of teaching posts, where schools have reduced enrolments to ensure that all decisions are reasonable and all schools are treated fairly. Thank you, the Minister. Primary Staffing Appeals Board operates independently Thank of the Department of Education. Thank you, Minister. Deputy O'Donnell. Minister, I wrote to your office and you informed me that a teacher-pupil ratio has come down and you are operating at 25 pupil to one teacher, which is applicable from September 2021. Why has a school in my constituency got 38 pupils in one classroom and 35 in another classroom? The school is Ballingarry National School, as they needed to have 199 at the end of September, and they had 194. They now have 201, as they have gained numbers over the year, mainly to events surrounding COVID. My question is, I advised them that there was an appeal process, yet they got back a reply Friday evening uh, to say that they were turned down for an extra teacher. Did anyone actually look at this appeal? This is genuine. Just because the system that is there at the moment, Minister, um, the people and their ratios, and they said that they had 194 and they had to have 199, now they have 201 due to exceptional circumstances surrounding COVID. Thank you, Deputy Minister. Uh, thank you, Deputy. Um, I want to be clear, as I have said at the outset, you know, the Primary Staffing Appeals Board is an, append is an independent board and operates independently uh, of the Department. Um, but what I will say, that there, as I have outlined, that there is the opportunity for appeal. Um, now, I can't comment on the specific um, uh, school you mentioned, Deputy, because I'm not aware of, of, um, of, of that and the format of their appeal. Um, but what I will say is, it, it is without doubt that um, we successfully did reduce the pupil teacher ratio this year to 26 to 1. We also included, as I said, the three-point reduction for the retention of a, of a teacher. And to, to be fair, this is a significant, significant advancement in terms of um, you know, schools being able to uh, hold on to a teacher, as it were, and equally for you know, um, the classroom base to be 26 to 1. Um, 
in, in its entirety, um, that's what schools are allocated at 26 to 1. For every 26 pupils, there will be one teacher. And, and, and that's how it operates. If, if some classes are lesser than that, if some classes are greater than that, that's a matter thank as to how the school you, themselves distribu distributes their, their teaching Dr. staff. Market. I shock the Donu, one minute. Yeah. Um, another school minister in my constituency has said that it's pr practically impossible to open in September. Uh, they have a junior class, has 28 children, and is in possible for them to be in pods. They are losing a teacher and their appeal was also turned down. Under any circumstances, is it possible to have 38 students, two SNAs and a teacher in one classroom? That is 41 people in one room and they were turned down just because the process says no. Just to clarify, and are you happy that they will have 38 unvaccinated students, two unvaccinated teachers and two unvaccinated SNAs in, in one room? What are we exactly doing here, Minister? Because the process is that if you lose a teacher or if you gain a teacher, you actually don't get that teacher until the following 12 months. So in Balangari's case, that means that they, have, they now have the numbers, but they now have to do without a teacher until 2022, September 22, because the process doesn't allow for this. This is thank, exceptional thank circumstances. You Deputy, thank you, Deputy. Minister, to conclude. Thank you, Deputy. And, and again, I want to acknowledge that, uh, you know, um, there, there has been a three-point reduction in terms of the number of pupils required to hold on to a, a member of staff. Now, for many, many schools, that has been hugely successful and beneficial to them. For others, it might well have required four, five, six. You know, that, that, that's the way it exists. Um, but there has been significant advancement made. Uh, equally so, I will say to you, in, in terms of appeals, and you know, appeals can be ongoing, uh, schools, and again, I cannot comment on the specifics that you've referenced there, but schools are entitled in their appeal, uh, even if they have further information, as I say, to, to appeal again, to include all, um, uh, and make all reference to um, the layout of the room, how many can be uh, facilitated within a room, uh, how many children are going to be within a room, uh, so on and so forth. So that, that's the basis, um, you know, for, for how appeal is actually made. And if there is a specific instance where, um, you know, uh, a class cannot be accommodated in a specific room, we've saw, we saw that last year and accommodations you, were Minister. made and provided Gar for. Marvin. So again, I would ask that they might address Gar that Gar in their appeal.